uh, weekend and week, should I say. Pardon, I just slowly missed. But we are playing this game called Red Dead Redemption uh, Online. Red Dead Redemption 2. And I'm actually joined by Nathan. Nate, can you hear me? Okay. And so I'm actually, uh, you know, basically I'm, uh, I'm literally going to go ahead and play with Nathan because here's Nathan right here, guys. I'm actually showing your character. I'm on my horse. Does Nathan have a channel? Yeah, his is actually uh, Nathan Thompson. Hey, Nate, can you uh, can you uh, type hi on my uh, live stream so Cameron can actually um, jo uh, subscribe to your channel? I think he wants to subscribe to your channel. Okay, Cameron's a pretty good, cool guy. He uh, he's you know he I think he's. Are you 12, 13, or 14, Cameron? I can't remember. Uh, but Cameron is actually, he's been subscribed to me for, I think, almost over a year. So. There we go. Cameron, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, you know, go on his channel. So, Nate, I'm actually just got... Uh, you, uh, invitation, uh, I'm subscribing, okay. Oh, you're 15 now, oh, I thought you were 14, I don't know why I got that mixed up. Anyways, so, Nate, you can go ahead and, I sent you an invite where, um, you can actually, uh, join my posse. I'll send it to you again. Are you, will you be able to see it, Nate? Yeah, I just sent you an invitation. So what you want to do is you want to go to the, uh, you know, where I showed you earlier where it says, like, and, all right, there you go. You have joined my posse. All right, then go ahead and grab your horse. There you go. Okay. So, guys, we are actually doing some uh, Red Dead Online. So... I just got this game today because Nick and I thought about getting this, and thanks to my mom, she got me my Red Dead Redemption because, you know, she bought my brother Nathan. Nathan is not what you call blood brothers, like, you know, like family, official family. We have known each other for, gosh, since we're elementary, right, dude? So, what's really interesting, guys, ooh. Nate, hey, push, uh, the, push the, uh, well, I don't want to go this way. You do not want to go that way, because you're going to, you're going to deal with alligators. Yeah, I'm actually going, oh, that's cool. I'm actually going to go on the map, and I'm going to take us to camp. I'm actually going to take us to the camp. Because I want to show you what our camp looks like. So follow me. <sighs> Let's see. So guys, if you guys have not yet subscribed to Nathan's channel, head over to his channel. Uh, he has, um, what? Oh, that's funny. You know, I'm getting quite used to having you around. Anyways, here's our camp. It's our beginner's camp. But we can add more stuff to it. So this is our camp. And this over here, Nate, this is Crips. He's the one that you talk to about, like, if you want to change things, like get a better tent, or like if you want to get a dog, or if you want to get, like, um, anything. So you can actually see what he has. And then this is our beginner's tent. So, yeah. My tent is over here. Which, my tent's right here. So. 
And then this is Nathan's over here. This is Nathan's tent. Which has got a regular old time tent. Well, that's only if you have your own tent. But like with me, I can use a... Because I think in the Red Dead Redemption series, I guess, if you have a camp and you have a posse, I think you can have one dog in a posse, which hopefully Rockstar can change that. Let's see. So, and then of course, here's our table, which, yeah. Which, later on, when you do, you can actually earn money by doing odd jobs. So, we can actually go do odd jobs. And see, guys, this horse, my, my horse name is John. Okay, now, let's actually go do an odd job. Wait, what's Crip saying? Why? Oh, you make another four joke. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Ha 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 ha, very funny. Okay, follow me. We're actually going to go to Rhodes. We're going to go to Rhodes. I already highlighted in the map. Since you can... Until you get used to where everything's at. We're going to go to Rhodes, guys. Because apparently... I'm going to introduce... Nathan into... Bounty hunting. Because... Uh, there's this thing on here where if you earn 15 gold, you automatically get a bounty hunting license. So. Oh, you can't kept catch up? Well, that's what happens when you have a board. Uh, because you have your gun in your hand, you have to have your gun in your, uh, horse's, uh, gun holster for it to push, uh, um, push, uh, L1. Yeah. There you go. Uh-huh. See, it's about ready to rain. Yeah, it's raining in Red Dead Redemption. Uh -huh. Anyway, so I'm actually going to show you a place called Rhodes, which is a little town that's run by Gary Rhodes and his deputies in the Red Dead Redemption series in the story. Which is pretty interesting. Okay, here is the town of Rhodes. This is Rhodes, and of course, in Red Dead Redemption series, you actually help the Rhodes with their bounty hunting. You know, we are the deputy. Alright, see, this is, this is the bounty board. I thought you said they'd be here. That's what I thought. Is this them? Nope. Well, there they are, in the wagon. That's her. Oh, there. You all looking for the twin rocks? Yeah, but I'm doing a tutorial of bounty hunting. In the back. See, if we had a bounty hunt, uh, if I had one, or if you had one first, I can actually God let damn. you join... Uh, me on bounty hunting, even though you don't have a bounty hunter license. Let me get you your money. So whoever gets That's a bounty hunter license first, in, you know. with 15 bounty gold, so then you automatically can, can join my so bounty. Sure. How about you there? Are you fool enough to try? Become a bounty hunter? There's a board up in most every jailhouse and post office. The sheet's going up regular. All you need is a license, which the sheriff will sell you. We can take down a poster and go. 
Lots yeah, because I'm actually doing a. Mess. It's showing me about bounty hunting, about what you, you can, go after can one of the do. Big ones? I'll tell you what I know about it, as a favor. Worst that can happen is they kill you. There's only nine. I counted them twice. There was ten when I pulled up. I know you're hiding out there. You got ten seconds to turn yourself in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Three, no. two, no, please. One. Please, no. Ooh. Got him cold blooded. There's your tent. Clean it it up, showed on there ball. that uh, this girl just uh, wouldn't it turn him here. in. He automatically uh, shot I'm the sure guy. That's a criminal and cold. That one there might want a bounty hunter. No, I'm not. I, it's Help doing the out, tutorial like it's showing that me true. how. You, you know, to get a bounty hunting license and all that. Out of money, huh? Well, if you don't have it now, you can come and get a license when you do. They sell them wherever they hang them posters. Good luck now. Okay. That was crazy. Anyways. Wait, what are you doing with my horse? Nate! You stole my horse. Now, anyways, let's see. Fifteen gold to buy a bounty hunting license. Yeah, because I'm the posse leader and a. And I make the final decisions. You want to know actually a little trick up your slave mate? If someone steals your horse, you can actually whistle two or three times and it would uh, buck the person off the horse. Yeah. Try it. Because Garrett, Garrett, my manager, showed me that trick. Okay, now try to run off with it. Come on. Hey, what the hell? Did do it? Huh. Well, I thought Garrett says that when uh, you whistle for it, it fucks it off. Alright, we'll come back. I guess that was wrong. I guess that's. They don't do it anymore then. Alright, let's do let's do an odd job. So you know Alright. Just whatever you do, do not run over people with my horse, because I can get in trouble on the game. Nate. That's my horse, dude. Oh, I thought that was my horse. Okay. Well, our horse looks the same a little bit. Alright. I'm actually gonna... I'm actually... I'm actually, uh, gonna show you something. So. There is actually a little thing that you'd be able to do. Let's do some odd jobs. So go ahead and follow me whenever you get through doing what you're doing.
We're going to do some odd jobs. It will get us a chance to, um, to do it. Now I'm actually going to go and eat some food. Yeah, back. Oh no, I just saw it. Alright. Not that much. Well, you can actually, if you want to know, you can actually go on the map and look up the uh, blue dot and it'll tell you where I'm at. Nate. Blue dot. Yeah. And yeah. I'm going to a house that can, I think it's a gun for hire job, and I'm going to this house right here, if you could see it on the map. You can actually pretty much join me, even though I'm going to a house, because you'll be right then and there. See? It's all right. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> Timmy, come on down there. We got company. I told you I heard something. <laughs> well, ain't this a rare treat? <laughs> Are you hungry? There's some stew in the pot. Someone let his plate go cold, didn't he? Well, now I wonder just how I got so distracted, sweetie pie. Stop it. <laughs> Hey, I figure we got ourselves a strong, silent yeah. type here, Bray. Might be just the person we need for, you know what. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! I think you might be right. Yeah. You see, there's some folk who done us wrong, some bad folk. Took advantage of our warm hospitality and disrespected Tammy yeah. here. And then just gone away. What? What do you think with the extra I'm in the curtain? building. I'm doing a thing where I can. Real silky. <laughs> now, we're just simple farmers. Okay. Someone like yourself might see fit to apprehend no. said folk and return them here to us for some reckoning of the situation. Well, we pay them real well. And we can be real grateful. Oh. I didn't know there was a Now, last we heard, uh, they was fixing to take a stagecoach north from San Dene towards Van Horn. Well, I think that's a yes. Well, ain't this just a day to be thankful for? Just wait, you know what? Almost there. Now I think I'm going to finish off the stew. Oh, it'll be stone cold by now. Oh, nonsense. Well, I would eat your meat off a dirty floor, princess. You know that. <laughs> oh, okay. There I am. No, that's another player, dude. All right, come on, just drop him. Just drop him. We got a good. Just drop him, and we're gonna do an odd job. We're going to uh, go to a stagecoach and do something really 
bad. Do you see what it says go to a stagecoach? Okay. This is what we're going to do. We are going to a stagecoach. And we're pretty much going to, um, rob him, I guess, and kill him. I gotta be careful, cause those... Got to get in the stage coach, dude. Right, so the target. Get the other one in. I got this one. Yeah, I'm gonna poke you, the girl. Now, I gotta take her to a location. Yep. Well, not necessarily a criminal, but she's basically going to, uh, I have to take her to a location. I gotta go to the Abilene Pig Farm, which is those, that fat guy that was there. Alright, go ahead and put on, uh, you gotta lasso and then you gotta put it on your horse. So we gotta take it over to the that same people at the pig farm. Ah oh, shoot. Quick, it's the fuzz. You know, sheriff. I don't know, Beck. No, I think she texted me though. Uh, probably clean her room. Probably clean her room. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and take the uh, these two people over to the where that fat guy was at. He's the fat guy, and his well. Let me give you a little backstory about those two that's at the Ab Abuin Pig Farm. So, this fat guy is, and I hate to say this, and I hope I don't get demonetized, but apparently this fat guy is dating, well, married to his first cousin. Uh, that was a bunny. Yeah, that was a jackrabbit. Where you at, Nate? You know what those enemies were? Yeah. That's why. You got wanted by the police. Yeah. Just do what you can do.
huh? I know. Yes. I'm on my way, Bo. I'm coming to you. I got it. I got it. Just be careful. Do it. Just try to hold back. I'll keep stupid. Got him. See, I can shoot and ride my horse at the same time because I'm a people call, which I don't understand why people would call me this, but people call me a Red Dead Redemption God, which I'm not, but people call me that. Alright. Alright, go ahead and go right here. Now, the way you want to do this is you, I'll uh, remove the target right here. Now you want to take the person inside this house. How do you believe this one's sweet on you, Tammy? And what you want to do is drop this, this person really right there. Drop him. There we go. Mission pass. Coach, hold up. Now watch, watch your money and your gold. It's going to show it. See, you earn, I earned 16 gold, $418.75. Yeah. I just earned 16 gold, and you just earned... Well, it's 0 0.16, which is 16 gold. That's good. How much did you earn? I know, no, but it would take time. Because mine says 0 0.16, which is 16 gold. Now, 2 point, okay, that's a good sign. Because when that's, when you get 15.0 gold, then you automatically uh, can get your bounty hunting license. You just gotta earn it when it says 15.0. See, when it's 0 0.16, that means it's considered uh, 16 gold, pretty much. We are gonna go next door. Because the more odd jobs that you do, the more likely you're going to do one of those. Ow! I just tripped over a piece of fence, turned around, and, and I, I fell. I went straight all the way over to, um, and hit my head on a fence pole. Because it wasn't you. Oh crap, we got a job. Yep, if you hear somebody shooting, that means you get to... Oh, and there's another thing you can do. You can shoot them all and just basically loot them. Come on, boy. Guys, you shoot like a girl. These people are shooting like a girl. I'm coming. I'm 
coming, I'm almost there. Gotcha. We got lots of people here. Always keep you keep you moving around so they they, they don't necessarily shoot you. One in top of ten. One died, but we got two travel, two travelers, and one died, which is pretty good. But we still protected the camp, and that's what counts. Now the fun part is you get to loot them. So you can go ahead and find. You can actually loot them if they have mon uh, money on them. So. Go ahead. I know. If you if you can go ahead and you can actually earn money by looting their bodies, and uh, you can actually go and uh, and you can also look through around and see what they left. And see, that's how you can also earn money. The more thing you want to do is earn money and earn gold. Because let me tell you this: when you earn uh, when you earn money, it can help you with your camp as well. We got some over here, Nate. You can loot these two. Okay. I'm actually going to find that person and do something crazy. Oops. Uh, Nate, go ahead and loot her. Okay. I wanted to do that anyway. Alright. Let's go. We are going next door to a location. We're going to this place where we can do another odd job and make money. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go in. What do you want? I said, what the hell do you want? You want work? You want work? Sorry. Kinda jumpy. Right now, kinda on edge, you know. But to be clear, I didn't do it. Folk lie, you know, make shit up. Don't add up. Why would I kill him? Don't make sense. I didn't. And I wouldn't. And, and, and you got my word on that. Honest. I'm not a liar. Anyway, you friends with Micah? With Cleet? With Samson Finch? Well, don't matter much, as long as you keep your mouth shut, and don't lie. Folk talk a whole heap of shit. I swear I hardly knew the bastard, but this fella, this fella and his bunch, degenerates and liars. If you kill him, maybe I can walk free again, like a gentleman, you know? This Good. is pretty much a gun for hire. They're over at Fort Brennan. 
Fort Brennan. Find an element to say gun for hire, it said gun for hire. Which means you have to go and kill. Yeah. Alright, now let's go ahead and uh, go to this, pl this place. It's kind of like a gun for hire at a fort. And make sure you have plenty of uh, bullets because the one thing you, you never want to mess up on is never run out of bullets. So just to give you a heads up, let me know when you're down on bullets and we can stop at, you know, stop and get some bullets. Okay, hold L1. Yes. Okay, I'll do most of the shooting because I got more bullets. If you can at least shoot some, then I can do the rest of the shooting. Yeah, but you can't do it right now. Element the targets. There you go. Okay, there's another location. See, if you had another gun, maybe you can keep my bullet. Oh crap, I'm gonna shoot him. Got him. I always have to stay covered. Push L2, yeah. Got another one. And another one. That's the fun part. I love it when they fall off the roof. I'm gonna go on the other side. We got one more. He's running. He's running, boy. If you can get on your horse and go after him, that would be perfect, because we got to go after the last one. He's running. He's on the horse. Yeah, I'm actually currently... Uh, he's by the ocean. I just injured him a couple of times. The only thing I can do right now is I'm kind of running low on, you know, stamina. So I'm actually going to try to... Got him. There we go. We are, I just earned some gold and some money. 
No, I get my horse. It's almost here. Visit Holly. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, you go to ammunition. You go on, uh, you know where you like choose the for posse, like invite to posse. You hold that down, and and then you pretty much. I'm pretty much buying all the bullets as I possibly can because I want to, you know, I want to keep as much bullets as I can. Yeah, you can, if you have enough money, you can actually buy yourself a shotgun. Which shotguns are really powerful. I always use shotguns. So. I'm actually going to go to, uh. I'm actually going to go to a location. Uh. To a location called Saint Denis. I'm actually going to go to Saint Denis, and I'm going over to where the bullets, which is the gunsmith. So I'm actually going to go over to the gunsmith and buy more bullets because I'm going to stock up on plenty of bullets. Uh, follow me. Uh, I'm actually, I actually highlighted where we're going. We're going to this place called Saint Denis, which is a, I call it a French town, which is a really interesting place. Now, have you ever did hunting? It's only 40 cents. Oh. Uh, Well, no, you don't. Just follow me, okay? I'll tell you how to do this. I know you, you did not buy the long bullets. When it says rifle, gun, I'm going to show you how to retrieve them. No, you, it's not in your bullets, you know, your rifle. If you come with me over to St. Denis, I can actually show you how to get your bullets. So, there is this thing called the, it's kind of like the mail place, you know, like, you know, United States Postal Service. Well, there's this thing called, um, kind of like where you can, uh, your mail, you know, pretty much mail. Well, when you do mail, you can actually retrieve bullets from your mail and also from when it comes to your own camp. Like, in your camp, you have what is called a locked box. And that's how you can retrieve your stuff. Now, with that being said, all you have to do is retrieve, you know, your bullets by going to, kind of like the United States Postal Service. So what you want to do is you want to go to where you can get your mail. Okay. Now, always remember, if you're in this town, I always uh, hitch my horse. Because you want to hitch your horse because if you hit your horse, your horse won't run away from you. Welcome to Kao Chow. I don't think I've seen you here before.
You should follow me by the, you know, where you can be able to see where I'm at. Oh, you don't miss the My what? That's fine, because I'm inside the bullet shop. I highlighted it. It's, it's... Beck says hello. Okay, give me a minute, give me a minute. I'm actually trying to retrieve my bullets. Okay. It's got a picture of a gun on it. It's it's like the gunsmith store. Here, I'll actually... Here, do you see me again? Okay. So what you want to do... There you are. About time. You see these, uh... Posts, you know, that's like... Okay, let me find one. I'm trying to look for one. Okay, you see those? Uh, right, like right there. The ship. Boy, dude, do you know how to hit your horse? I'm just messing. Okay. I'm trying to look for. A oh, here's one. Right here. Go right here. Right here. Now, push the triangle. Hold it down. There you go. Now you want to hit your horse. There you go. It's hitched. Now, go ahead and head in here because what you want to do Change your mind on something? is you want to come in here and use that catalog right there and buy bullets. Yes, but you want to stock up, but I'm just showing you what this has, this bullet stock. I'm showing you what this looks like. Don't forget where we are. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take you over to this place called the... It's kind of like the post office, pretty much. So go ahead and uh, get on your horse, and I'll... Drive slow because you know in this city you gotta be slow in this city and don't drive too fast. Boy, dude, you're going too fast. <laughs> okay. Alright. This right here is kind of like your post office. This is kind of like your post office like you would have back then. You would actually go in here. And what you would do is this is also where you also bought tickets, get your mail. And Hello so there, what you want to do is you want to, uh, it's called the post clerk, which I just now saw it. And what you want to do is you want to collect all your bullets. Okay, make sure you push where you can uh, collect your del deliveries. Okay, did you get it? I ain't got a lot going for me in here at the moment, so let me know if you like it. You see what it's... Okay. The fastest way is when you click on collect deliveries, you would click... You would push the uh, square to collect all your deliveries. That would be the fastest way. Okay, check your bullets. Check where... Um, when you get out here, look on your... Uh, your weapon wheel, which is called and see if you do. no it's not if you step out more out here you would see it okay okay click okay you know where your weapons are 
You put them, you put it on your saddle, yeah, because I always carry mine on me. Dude, you bought a weapon, I thought, because you have your weapon with Okay. Are you sure? I'm coming in there to see it. Okay. No. Oh, that's wrong. Okay, click L2. Now, go over there and click L. There you go. Keep going. Okay. Hold on. Go down there. Here, let me see it real quick. I'm actually going to show you that you can also look up your horse weapons. You got, you got a bullets for your pistol. Cause you got to buy rifle guns, not shotguns. Huh? That is your uh, long repeater, which is a rifle. What'd you buy? Go back in there. I'll show you what to buy next time. Let's see. You got $25, so go to ammunition. Go, keep going. Okay, not this, but uh, this is your repeater, so you want to buy that bullet. Now click it a lot, as in like buy it. Okay, buy it. There you go, you bought all of it. Okay, now go in, go inside the, go inside now, you got to go in. You don't want to carry your gun in there because they're going to think you're going to rob the place. But go ahead and go in there and go ahead and retrieve your bullets by... Okay. Now, click where you can get the mail. Click deliveries. Okay. Go down. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa, whoa. Right there. Push collect all. There you go. Alright, go ahead and step out of there. Okay. Okay, check your bullet. Alright, see? You got 200 bullets. Uh huh. Always make sure it says, um, Repeater, or if it says revolver or small bullets, you can do that. Okay. Now, we are actually, we are actually going to go in another location that's an easy job, pretty much. Have you ever, have you ever fast travel? Okay. So. Here's what's going to happen. We are going to... Oh, here's a train. See this train symbol? Okay. I'm going to teach you how to do what's called train robbery. Because when you have to learn how to do a train robbery, you got to learn how to be a vet. Now try to catch up to the train. And then push up on it. Yeah, I'm actually trying to get on. There we go. Alright, now what you want to do is I'm going to teach you how to do a train robbery. Now the easy deal you want to do... Let's take that person out. 
the job. Now he's going to try to call for backup, and I'm going to have to go after him. Because if you don't get rid of him, there you go. Ouch. I just killed myself. Nathan. Don't you stop. That was stupid for me. I'm trying to get out of here. Can you, uh, slow down the, uh, the train? Alright, I'm on. Go, 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 go. Oh shoot, we got people shooting at us. You drive, I shoot. There, got him. Just get us out of here. Okay, do you know how to do the trains and whistles and all that? Yeah. So we did our very first train robbery. going to stop at this place up here. Uh, we're coming up to it. We're going to stop here because we're going to go through the supply. Because each place has a different supply list. on the map and we are actually heading towards Van Horde Trading Post. So our place we want to go to is Annisburg. So you're coming up close to it, which this is a place called Annisburg. Which what you want to do Oh there's a player right there. There's a player. You saw a player who juice the fire. I think they're coming. The players, because I see that the Alright, when you get up here where it shows all those buildings, that's Annisburg. What you want to do is you want to stop there, because... You want to take a break? Okay, when we get to Annisburg, we're going to stop the game, and then I'm going to, you know, not do... Well, it'll kick you out of the game, and you don't want, you might as well just turn off the game if you want to do that. Yeah. 
Alright, you're getting close. Just go ahead and start slowing down. Okay. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please give a like or live stream. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time, guys. Take care. Bye.